Look at the tiny baby trebuchet. Aw. Master's secret workshop. I had no idea it was even possible to get here from the library. And who was observing me from above? I don't know, someone you just told how to get in? Good job. Welcome to the place where the ingenious combat machines for the Duke of Romagna Rema remain? Roman? I, I imagine that's not pronounced how it's spelled, but I'm just gonna move forward. <laughs> We're created. The catapult, the siege tower, machines that can effectively fight during an assault while providing protection for the soldiers and machine operators within. I wanted to meet you here, but some suspicious sounds warned me away. I have no choice. I must see for myself what it was. This place must be kept secret at all costs. Until I return, look around at the workshop. I must... I am most curious to hear what you ha will say about some of my works. He was, lured he was lured away by a sound, but then was... He had the time to, like, care carefully, meticulously pen the all these letters? Oh, well. I, don't I care more about the mechanics and the little puzzle stuff than I do necessarily the framing device that I'm sure will only marginally make sense. Do you slide, little shield? No? There's a slot here. A big one, even. Rotate? No. What about down here? Oh, right. There's a little... Oh, no. Not so easy, huh? I can't just pull these out. Can't double-click to zoom in. Nope. This won't open until I get those locks out of the way. Which are handled somewhere. This thing's gonna stick up at some point. This is interesting to look at. Hey, little guys. Oh, you rotate. Little wheels? No? There's a door that opens here. That might be the third one. It might be that you need to solve a puzzle about how to rotate them after the third one shows up. Once you deal with whatever's there. Oh wait, no, they have a floor. That's what it was. The inside and outsides of the these little patterns here weren't matching. I had to rotate them until they matched, but I rotated this one until it locked in place without actually noticing that I had done so. The wooden wheel. Goodbye, little guy. Well, this seems neat. I wonder where I'm gonna fire it off to. Okay, so somewhere else the wheel needs to go. Maybe right there? Probably not. I'm guessing down here. No. Maybe up here. Nope. This doesn't even come close to looking like it's the right shape. I might put a shield there, judging by the fact that there's one on the, on the other side. So both flags are up. Both flags are just the, what, the flu, the fleur de lure or whatever it's called. <laughs> oh, I'm basically just a, I'm basically just openly offensive to everyone who's Italian or French or speaks any other language ever. Oh, what's down here? You're an interesting one. Do you attach to these guys? No. Something goes on here. This one has a weird little tower to it. These ones are weirdly blank. And this is almost like a button lock. There's this guy over here, but I, I don't think I can visit it. Like a little tower. Let's look around the room, because the wheel could be for a different thing altogether. A bunch of scrolls we're not interested in, apparently. I actually don't know if I can go anywhere else in the room. Much like the game The Room, we seem to have an emphasis on this idea of very specifically lighting one thing on a table, or mo or a thing on a few tables, and that's like the, the stuff you can go to. And the rest is kind of just 
atmospheric background. The wheel probably goes somewhere on this thing. Maybe it does just jam into the side of this thing. No. I can't pull these, can I? I don't think I can, like, pull on these lever things that have a rope attached to them. How about the table? It's nope. Can't rotate around it. I'm st I'm staying at this perspective from here. I want to get up close and personal with the actual table, because sometimes you can expect stuff to be hidden inside the table itself. Ooh. No. That's still closed. That hasn't changed. Does the wheel just go up here somewhere? Let's look at the wheel. So it, it's a square-shaped socket. As expected, the wheel itself does not have like a mechanic for you to do anything with. Would have been weird if it did. We're looking for a square. There's seemingly nothing on this side at all. This is a circular line, that's circular. These are squarish on top, but that's at a weird angle where you couldn't fit the wheel in, and there's also two of them, and they look like they're the wrong size, I would assume. But down here, nothing seems like it, like it can be moved, and nothing is square. Looking at the base. The base has some designs on it of uh, flags and shields and crests and helms. But I don't see any indentations on it. Ooh. Look at you. There's the little guy. Oh. Where's this piece of pumice firing off to? That? Ah, uh, That wasn't pumice. <laughs> that might have been more alike. This probably was more similar to like whatever, uh... Ah, uh, when I move the camera I lose the message on the screen. That was probably more like whatever matches are made of. What's up with you? Small metal part. Looks like two T's on top of each other. It's in somewhere, but probably not anywhere on... Oh, maybe you, actually. Let's double check. No. So it probably fits on the thing that just lit up. Can I go back there? Ooh, I can. Some crumpled up paper someone decided they're done with. Is there a thing in there? No. Probably the texture just kind of clipping through the table a little bit. Oh, I didn't have to slide the seal off. When I first encountered the Duke Borgia, I was amazed both by his intelligence and the cruelty he knew how to wield. He could not perceive any obstacle uh, to his ambition. With the honors and the authority which it, which he bestowed upon me, I could have foreseen that our bond would be very difficult to break. I created for him a mechanical toy built into the globe that perfectly represents his soul. It was meant to appease him and to help me get free of his service. The Duke did finally grant me my release, but what I did not know at the time was that it will not be so easy to leave someone else. And it's just rewrapped now. This dude just likes to write about himself. In the desk, there's a secure metal cover. 
So I just need to find the other... Oop. Oh, this whole thing moves. Okay. Apparently not the time for that. That whole thing just slid over. Oh. Well, this thing looks neato. It's like an absurd, like, Korean MMO, like... RPG weapon. So I need something to turn it, probably. Ah? Did I spy correctly? Go all the way up. There we go. An unusual key. Yeah, I saw that little bright spot down there. There's a shelf behind it, but I can't really look at that from here. I'm probably not supposed to check that out. Ooh, over here, though. And you, oh, achievement found, file cutter. What is that? What am I looking at there? Huh. Nothing else seems interactive around here. Really? Oh, do you guys combine or something? Okay. Now it's actually shaped like it'll open something. But I can't, like, attach this to it. This part is clearly shaped like this. Clearly. But I think I need to attach it to something so I can ro- Yeah. It probably attaches to something, and then once it's attached, I can then slip it in and then rotate it. Because right now there's not a handle. Although, if you're dedicated enough, I think you could really rotate it just fine. Oh. Oh. The internal layers don't match. That's what's going on. I think, you ha I think that back layer doesn't change. I think you have to make it match that one. It's kind of hard to make out. Let's see. It's about right. <laughs> no, not quite enough. That's better, right? No? Still not better. Will you help? Not really. That looks pretty close. I mean, I'm kind of happy. At that point, you could, like, squeeze it in, right? And it would, like... Any lack of fitting would kind of resolve itself. No, so I probably need another item to fi finish my mechanism so the key works. Want to match, right? Whoa! Both of these parts move. That makes this w weirder. Okay. This part has the two black pieces next to each other. Gold, gold. That all matches. There we go. You probably fit together there. 
right in here. There you go. Now we're in. These things would be so exciting in real life, but they're so expensive. Like, if you want to get, like, baby's first puzzle box that, like, you'll be done with in 30 seconds and it's not even that satisfying looking, that's, like, $60 on Amazon. Like, video game puzzle boxes are, like, the only way to realistically encounter them. What am I looking at now? I'm trying to figure out what even can move here. Um... Like, every layer of this doesn't fit together. So how do I rotate it? It's open now, sure. We still have the unusual key. This is not unlocking a secret for me about the time travel? No. I'm not sure what to make of these. What's going on here? I would expect to be able to rotate the globe to make it all fit together. Because clearly there's all these seams. But I can't seem to find a control. Can I move this somehow? Oh. A code. I think we have access to the entire alphabet here. I need a five digit code. Let's try the very stupid answer. But it's probably something I need to find elsewhere. I mean, I hope this isn't the right answer. No. Thank God. Are you also a code? You are. Is it the name? Uh, are these... Are these the Zodiac or are they gods? Which setup are we looking at here? I want to see if you can do something with this. Does time travel work on something like this? Like, is it just... Oh, hello. Oh, too far back. Interesting that you can go too far back. Okay. Cedus, Terra, Lapis, Ignis. I'm gonna try drawing that real quick. Let's see. Cedus, Terra, Lapis. Ignis. Of those five, uh, three of them are five digit numbers. I mean, five digit letter, uh, names. Interesting. Okay, so that's why I was stuck, is because I didn't look, I didn't look for a while for the, yeah. I gotta remember if something's destroyed, then I can time travel it. I used it as a clue-finding thing before, but yeah, like, that was that was kind of explicit. There was a burned-up-looking, crumpled-up thing, and I could have rewinded it. So then going by... huh. It is the second and third ones. Going by that, you would expect it to be Terra and Lapis. Let's try Lapis. Because Terra, I don't think, even fits the right number of, of digits. 
So I'm concerned about that. Come on. Ah! That part's correct. Oh, there's a slidey thing. Interesting. Did the thing go away? Huh. I almost expected it to move to one of the other ones so I could... Write, ...name the other ones. Let's see. I thought this was a five digit. It is. Wait, no, Terra's five letters. I'm an idiot. I don't... <laughs> I don't know how I got it fi fixated on the idea that it was more. There we go. And if I get the option, the top ones are Cetus and Ignis. But I don't have a lens? Oh, here we go. It gave me one. Oh? But it's closed. Ah. It's closed and you can't see past the shutter. Can I rotate it anyway? Nope. I was like, I could probably guesstimate it from here. But no, I, I need to figure out how to move the shutter. Maybe by doing the other one? You don't work on that, do you? No. Now we need some kind of mechanism to continue? No. Pardon me, I was wondering, like, can I rewind time to when it was open? <laughs> That'd be convenient. Nothing with you either. So that is Cetus or Cytus, and this is Ignis. And I need a way to enter them, but in order to do that, I need to have figure out how to open them. Something goes in there. Oh, this thing slides. Flower ornament. Does that go in there? Ah, that was easier than I thought. Oh, cool. Never mind. Oh. I kind of clicked and it kept going on its own. I'm like, ooh, there's a whole thing where you can just make it go on its own without having to script drag over and over again. No, it is not. That's three down. How do you work? So I need to drag something from the top to the bottom, most likely. Okay, what's your deal? That, that part looks weird like it opens. Yeah, there's clearly, like, a door there. there. Maybe there's a marking somewhere? Somewhere besides the spot that I obviously need to solve next? No, I think that's just the texture kind of giving away where the secret, secret door is. When I, when I open this thing, it probably makes a door open, like, here-ish. Where something happens. It's likely not part of the puzzle, but just the reward at the end. The lights reflecting off of different polygons differently. Uh... Okay. So, no. I, there, I, I, I don't have to go solve a puzzle somewhere. I just need to find where they kind of stashed the, mecha the mechanism. Well, I'm glad I wrote these down. See this... You don't have to be too accurate, either. Ah! And the key will go there. You can see the U-shape. Alright, now all of my my items are accounted for. Do I zoom out? There we go.
Boom. No? <laughs> Where's the kaboom? There's supposed to be an earth shattering kaboom. Try to conquer the whole map of Europe. You can only move between the countries linked by with grooves. Remember that you can only conquer a country if your army is larger. You start in Sardinia with 31 soldiers. What? Like a whole game gonna happen here? Oh, this is interesting. Okay. So I'm here. I can only conquer an enemy group if I have more soldiers than them. Such as this 29? Ha. That set us both down to 10. What happens if he goes over there where there's no soldiers? I can't. But if I go down there, I die. If I go down there, I die. If I go anywhere else, I die. How do you reset? Because I already lost. Does this thing scroll to more text? No. Huh. Maybe I just have to lose? Wait, did I just took... Did I just take over their soldiers? I thought I had less. Whoops. That's how you surrender, I suppose. Huh. Did I just unconquer it? 10, 10. Okay. That's what that's that's me losing. When I lose, the flag goes up and then I go back to 31. Okay, well. 14 then? Ah, 45 instead of 10. Now we'll try the 29. Now we have 48. We're, tre we're trending upward instead of downward. Is it because we have significantly more than them? 48. They only have 19 over there. 67. 87. You kind of just do them in from smallest number to largest number. What is that? Wooden tool with ornaments. Ooh. I know where you go. You get right in there. No? Is that it? Oh. Um, do I just take it? Oh, what's happening? Oh. So I can keep playing the game. Probably. I was like, I accomplished something, I think, but I can't find where it is. 